Welcome to my tutorial video for the Debt Snowball and Avalanche Calculator. Before we get started with the tutorial, let's take a look at the difference between the Snowball and Avalanche Debt Payoff methods. The Debt Snowball method is all about building momentum and staying motivated as you pay off debt. With this approach, you start by listing your debts from the smallest balance to the largest, ignoring the interest rates for now. You focus on paying off the smallest debt first, putting any extra money you have toward that balance while continuing to make the minimum payments on the rest. As each debt gets paid off, you roll that payment into the next smallest debt, creating a snowball effect. This method gives you those quick wins and a real sense of accomplishment, which helps you stay motivated to keep going, even if you end up paying a little more in interest over time. The debt avalanche method, on the other hand, is focused on saving you the most money by paying off high interest debts first. Here, you'll list your debts from the highest interest rate to the lowest, and your goal is to pay off the high interest debt first by throwing any extra money at it while making minimum payments on the others. Once that's paid, you move on to the next highest interest debt, creating an avalanche that accelerates as more payments get freed up. It's a smart choice if you want to reduce the overall cost of debt, though it can take a little longer to see progress, especially if the high interest debts are large. But in the long run, the debt avalanche method keeps interest costs down and gets you debt-free in the most efficient way possible. When choosing between the debt snowball and debt avalanche, note each method has advantages and disadvantages. The debt snowball offers quick wins and motivation boosts, while the debt avalanche is more cost-effective over time. Many people choose based on which approach best fits their financial and psychological needs. Some even start with the debt snowball for initial motivation and switch to the debt avalanche to focus on interest savings. Both methods provide structured approaches to debt freedom, helping you stay organized and intentional with your payments. Now, to get started, I recommend reading the easy-to-follow instructions that will guide you through the workbook. At the top of this tab, you'll find a direct link to my website, where I share further resources, helpful guides, and links to my other spreadsheet tools. If you need assistance at any time, simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Contact Us button. This will connect you directly with me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to help answer any questions. Here, you can see a note that states not to edit colored cells. Some cells in this spreadsheet are colored to indicate they contain formulas or important information that should not be changed. These cells are protected, and if you attempt to edit them, a warning message will pop up to remind you not to modify the content. This design ensures that the calculations stay accurate and saves you from having to re-enter data in case of accidental edits. Go to the Debt Snowball slash Avalanche Calculator tab. This spreadsheet is a tool that helps you plan and visualize your debt repayment using the most popular debt payoff methods. This calculator organizes your debts for you and shows you the order in which to pay them off, along with a projected timeline. You do not need to enter your payments each month, this spreadsheet does all the work for you. Over time, if you deviate from the planned schedule, you will need to update your entries to reflect your current situation. The first thing that you need to do is to select your country from a drop-down list. This will update the currency symbols throughout the spreadsheet. Remember, it's important not to modify colored cells here, as they contain formulas essential to the calculations. If you accidentally make changes to one of these cells, simply hit Cancel to restore it to its original state. Now, enter the starting date, choose today or a past date. The spreadsheet will not work properly if you enter a future date as it calculates the payments you need to make in the present. Enter all the required information in the debt information table. You will need to enter a name for all of your debts, the balance, annual interest, and minimum payment. The day due will only serve as a reminder and is not relevant to the calculations. If your interest is 0%, enter it as 0 0.00001, that is four zeros before the one. Without this adjustment, the spreadsheet will not calculate correctly. The spreadsheet automatically sorts your debts, in the debt summary table, based on your method selection in cell F11. 
Here, you can see the total interest you will have paid on each debt, the month and year when each debt will be paid, the number of months left, and finally, the last column at the right, payment this month, lets you see the payments you will need to make this month. At the top, you can see the total for your initial debt. The debt balance today will automatically melt away as the months go by, which will turn into the amount paid off to date. You can view your total monthly payments to find out if you have any room in your budget to add an extra amount to pay off your debt faster. If you do, enter this amount in additional monthly contribution in cell F11. This amount will be put towards your smallest debt first and will reduce the months needed until your debt is paid off. You can try different amounts here to try out different scenarios. Here, you can see how many months are left to pay down your debt. It's a good visualization tool when trying different scenarios. At the right of the spreadsheet, you can view the detailed payment schedule, a breakdown of payments, showing how much you need to pay monthly and the balance today. As the months go by, the amounts will be crossed off and the payment this month will be automatically adjusted. If you have an amount you would like to add to certain months, enter it under the amount plus or minus AH column. This amount will go directly to the smallest debt first. Remember that whichever method you choose, the key is to stay committed and consistent with your payments. Paying off debt is a journey, and every step brings you closer to financial freedom. The debt snowball and debt avalanche are just two paths to reach the same goal, one that allows you to regain control over your finances and build a more secure future. Remember, what matters most is that you're actively working toward reducing your debt. So find the approach that keeps you motivated, stick with it, and celebrate each milestone along the way. With patience and persistence, you'll see the progress you've been aiming for. Thank you for joining me, I hope that you enjoy using my spreadsheet. Contact me if you have any questions regarding this video and the debt snowball and avalanche calculator.